I want to I want to now get into sort of the um, what's the right word irreverence of the psychosis here. We have this story. <laughs> a, I don't I don't know what this is. Sis mocked actress. Oh, actress is mocked. Jeez, is this, proofread your yeah. no. headlines for uploading a video of herself <laughs> reading a self penned poem saying she wishes she'd been Putin's mom, oh my so she could have hugged him to stop him turning into a warmonger. Mm. Actress Anna Lynn McCord, 34, posted a bizarre poem online Thursday about her desire to be Putin's mother. Putin, 69, ordered a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. <laughs> Can I, uh, do they have this? Let's play it. Cause oh, it could, no. oh, wait, I got to turn the sound on, don't I? Yeah, oh, okay, God, we got this. this. is going to be awesome. You guys ready for this wait, one? Yeah, yeah unmute it. <laughs> did it, did yeah. it still muted? Okay, yeah. here we go. Dear President Vladimir Putin, I'm so sorry that I was not your mother. That was when I paused it the first what? time. Oh, come on. I the stupid thing's not working. I was like, this is cringe. It's really quiet it's anyway. So cringe. All right, is it going to work now? Never would the story's plight the world unfurled before our eyes, a pure demise of nations sitting peaceful under a night sky. All right, all right. We're not going to listen to this. Oh, oh my gosh. The problem I have with that <laughs> so is bad. it wasn't genuine. She wasn't no. saying it. She was just oh, reading a poem in, with like cadence to it. That's it didn't sound like she actually thing. meant it. That was why I, I, I just gotta, I just gotta say, like that's unbearably cringe. Oh my gosh! Something is we 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 have a malignancy in 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 this in this country <laughs> of vapid shells of people who do things like this, where they're like, I don't know about Ukraine, I don't care about Russia, I heard the name Putin in the news, let me make a video. You know what? Social media was a mistake. Yep. There are just some people that shouldn't be allowed to post. Yep. I am kidding, by <laughs> the way. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> they should be censored. All right, that's the joke. So. Maybe minors shouldn't be able to post. I don't know. We'll, well figure and that then out. She's 34, Ian. <laughs> she should know better. You, you look at this. She's half the age. You look at this and it, it's... <laughs> oh, my gosh. It, it, it's so absurd, you don't even know what what to start with. It's Who is this Hollywood actress and what does she have to do or what oh, does oh. she know about... 90210, man. Come on. Oh. Don't you know? And, the, and the what does this poem help? I mean, this is I, it's, this is typical like American, like, like the, the toxic American culture where we think like, you know, if, if enough hearts bleed and we, you know, and we shed enough tears and hashtag hard enough, like we're going to solve world problems. Like, guys. like this is going to come across v Vladimir Putin's desk and a, and a, <laughs> and a, and a tear is going to like, yeah, what, just a single tear is going to just drop from his like stone stature. And, and you know what? He's going to say, let's pull back. He's going to slam the table. <laughs> And and he's the like, she was right. <laughs> and I too wish you were my mother. I, know, I think this this reminds me of um there's this like kind of idea like, oh, if I if I go back and help Hitler when he was a baby and like give him the kindness he needed to become an artist, maybe he wouldn't have become a psych psychoactive psychoactive psychological psychoactive. dictator. But uh I think that's this idea. He like, did do if crazy I could, drugs though. Yeah, he was all on amphetamines Mass, nonstop. Yeah, he was yeah. just shell shocked from World War One, destroyed mind. This girl I think is doing that with Putin. She's like, Oh, if I could have if somehow I could have reached his inner child, that maybe he wouldn't be so vile. No, I'm and very like, cynical about lady. this. Have you guys ever heard of this lady's name before in your life? No. No? 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 Ian? No? This person? Never heard of this lady? No. Yeah, I haven't either until today. Hey, look, she's getting It says she was on 90210, yeah. so I guess uh, that makes her somewhat okay. credible. Yeah, well, I mean, she's, she's got like two hundred thousand followers. She's the reboot, older. I would imagine, right? The nine hundred two hundred reboot. Yeah, not no. the I know the original. If though. I was cynical. your mother, you would have been so loved. Oh man! We like, are, so we are, listen, so they're, they're trying. They're, this is like this is uh, this is American, you know, uh, toxic culture trying or uh, Hollywood culture trying to tie this to like toxic masculinity in some way. We're a silly people, dude. If you want, and again, look at our priorities. We're like Putin. Like you know, if you just had a mother, it would be okay. And like, it's like <laughs> let's not talk about like look at any got, of the other. He's got a factors mom. in if this. You really have His mom. mom's like. <laughs> Look at, nice. <laughs> look at this. Get off my back. Look at, look at, look at. Hold on, hold on. Break. There's a picture. I say, although McCord blames the family matriarch, Putin's mother Maria Shel uh, Shelomova <laughs> has been characterized by others as a kind factory worker who secretly baptized him. Wow. Could you imagine? You know, if anything, you know what's going to happen? Putin's going to be like. What'd you say about my mom? <laughs> <laughs> about my mother? Yeah, like, I could get. I understand wanting to emotionally connect with Vladimir Putin right now, and you have the technology to do it, so you may as well try. But don't read a script, man. Yeah. It's a poem that you wrote that you're come on do it genuinely if you're gonna do it otherwise no, just, just you're just burning the ground you walk on it's just there's so much insanity this is this isn't the only insane thing there's this this post from a lady and she's like 
The only reason that Putin's allowed to, to wage war is because he's white. I was just and, trying to find yeah. that as, as we were <laughs> reading like, this other headline. If, if a black or brown man had invaded Ukraine, it would have been slift, swiftly dealt with. And it's like... It would have been what? allowed, they said. <laughs> it, would have, it wouldn't have been allowed. Allowed. It, like, none of this is allowed. And again, that goes to the... It, it just goes to highlight how little these people actually understand the, the gravity and the severity of the situation yeah. that is unfolding right before our eyes. These people vote. It, that's scary. Vote. It, it is. It's it's very scary. You know, and and I think it was Thomas Edison that said that said the greatest that's uh, the you know the greatest threat to a democracy is an uneducated public, and we are looking at millions of them at this point. Yep. Oh man, zombie hordes. You know who Did people who lady... vote with their emotions. You know, I, I, I'm quite certain that this woman went out and and probably voted against Trump because she thought his tweets were mean. Yep. That's yep. exactly it. This that's a good point. This story. Of this woman saying, if I was your mother, you would have been so held. <laughs> it shows the stupidity, the ignorance. And and I would I would bet a large sum of money she voted Joe Biden. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I would I would, I would absolutely bet that. I, do, I cannot imagine. I mean, who knows? Maybe she, she, she voted for Trump. I really doubt it. It's crazy. You know, you see these people and they say things like, well, it's a good thing. Trump's not president. And I'm like, is it? But it's bad. Like the bad thing happened. <laughs> Like it didn't all of bad, the, all of the things that you said were going to happen under Trump are happening right now. Yep. The bad things didn't happen under Trump. Exactly. It's it's They're like, all happening now. It's it's remarkable that they're like, well, if if Trump was president, everything would be a whole lot worse. And it's like, but it wasn't. You had him as president. The economy was great. Putin didn't invade Ukraine. Biden gets in and then he does within a year. And you think the issue is Putin would have done it anyway and it would have been worse with Trump. All right, man. Some people are just lost. No, I don't, I don't think you can even start to reason with that because that's that's that they have they have already made up their mind and and any anything you throw is going to lead them back to their original conclusion no matter what. Yeah, and it's it, it comes from a, just a, a genuine lack of understanding this, I, th I think to the severity of the situation and and Lydia what you were saying earlier about how the um, the the less people understood where Ukraine was the more right. the more they wanted intervention. I guarantee that if you put a globe in front of this this young lady here. That she will not be able to find Ukraine yeah. at all. Absolutely. It's probably creepy. five guesses, and she probably still would not be able to get it. <laughs> you could play Wordle with her and say, guess the letters, and she still would be like, what's a cry? I I it's like, it's pronounced Ukraine. Huh. I thought it was U-C-R-A-N-E. Oh, my God. <laughs> Close, but not quite. This is why I'm talking about just buying all those coconuts and sitting back and just yeah. machete, them, machete them open and sit that straw in there and just sit back. Oh, I remember the good old days. I went to Rio once. Dollar. It's like a buck for a coconut. Yeah, because they're great. everywhere. You sit on the beach. You walk right out of your hotel and you sit on the beach and you just get a coconut. Right on Copacabana right there. Oh, dude. Have it's you ever good. been? Yes. Oh, it's amazing. I went during Carnival. Oh, my. Yes. yes. Nice. And they got snacks and food. They got and, street food. Yeah, you know, man. Meat on a stick right in the street. That's right. Yep. Yeah, it's good living. That's See, that, that's what I'm thinking about. Let me know I'm if like, you go. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, I do have a Brazilian visa. There you go. Uh, I'm just thinking, you know, as it all comes crumbling down, maybe maybe we should spend time with our loved ones and smile. And uh, it's like, have, have you seen the movie Don't Look Up? <laughs> at the end, when they're all at the table holding hands and it's like the world's about to end, I'm like, that's kind of how I feel right now. I know. I, I feel very... I made a video last night that I didn't end up uploading because it was so... It got so dark. Like, I, 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 I want to believe that... We're, we're better than animals, but we're just animals. Someone, so I, someone super chatted. She was trying to kill Putin by getting him to die laughing. <laughs> Could you imagine if like this it, story comes out yes. that Putin had a stroke, and then like there's a photo of him on the ground confirming it, and on his phone is a picture of the woman and a big smile on his face. Oh my and gosh. then someone's like, I think he laughed himself into a stroke and died. I think this the woman war is over. I think this woman stopped World War Three. Yeah. <laughs> she actually did it. The mad woman. All it took was one poem. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for checking out this segment from the Timcast IRL podcast. But if you want to check out the full show live, tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And if you want more special access content, head over to TimCast.com and become a member. Your membership helps sustain this company, keep our journalists employed, makes this show happen, and you will get access to exclusive members-only segments of the TimCast IRL podcast. And there's a massive library to check out. So again, go to TimCast.com or tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And we'll see you all there.